The Wii Remote can be used as a fantastic controller for your easy robot. Seen here with this Wall-E, the Wii's accelerometer sensor can be configured to control servos. The buttons may also be assigned to execute easy script commands. The keypad for the Wii Remote will control any movement panel you have added to your project. EasyRobot.com Personal Robotics for everyone. Each time you use the Wii Remote with Easy Builder, you'll need to perform this procedure. Press and hold the number 1 and number 2 buttons on the Wii Remote. The blue lights will begin to flash. Do not let go of the buttons until I tell you. Locate the Bluetooth icon in the system tray. Right click and select Add Device. When the Nintendo controller is detected, select it. This device does not require a pairing code. Continue to hold the buttons until the balloon pop-up tells you that the device has been successfully loaded. You may now let go of the buttons. Load your copy of Easy Builder. In this example, we will control a single servo with the x-axis accelerometer of the Wii Remote. The servo is connected to port D0 of the EasyB controller. Select Add Control, Miscellaneous, choose Wii Remote. Choose Configure and select the servo port for the x-axis. Additionally, you can specify the max and minimal values for the range of the servo for your robot. When the cursor is red, the accelerometer is deactivated. Press the Home button on the Wii Remote and the cursor will become green. Now, the accelerometer is activated.